Welcome back to Mass Appeal, everyone. We're back with Renee Gork and her kids, Cal and Keely. And earlier we made these cute collars, which Seth is now modeling the butterfly. I think uh, it's me. One. Yeah, it totally is. I you. think it screams Seth. Yeah. Yes, it does. It really does. Oh, Show good. it off, Seth. <laughs> there you go. Hey. Keely, did you make that one? <laughs> I think he loves it. <laughs> All right, now now we're moving on to what are we making, mom? We're cool moving mom. on to music, musical <laughs> instruments. I think my older children would debate that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're the coolest. Uh, we're moving on to musical instruments. Make your own out of recycled materials. And this craft is the best because not only do you make this, but then you get to play with it after. Right, That Cal? is so cool. Yeah. So this is the rain stick. How do we get started making it? This is the rain it? stick. So, Cal, let's show them how we start, how we do that rain stick. So, we start with, with our nice uh, tube or not toilet paper. Paper that's towel that's tube. <laughs> towel <laughs> tube. Paper towel tube. Thank yes. you. Yes. And we put the dowels through the inside. If you can see, I don't know if you can see in there. The dowels go inside. I'll hold this up so we want to make sure everyone can do it at home. And they're just very <coughs> easy. You just have to, you know, score them a little bit, the scissors, and you can pop them off at the right length that you want. You put them inside. You just have to put a little hole, squish them through. Not, not, not too wide. Yeah. Okay. And that allows so that the beads that don't so just... Right. That's so it kind of trickles down in between the, the dowels. Okay. And it makes that nice sound. Cool. So, Cal, why don't you add the beans to it? Then we, we covered up one side, and I decided to use these little nifty, I have a, a billion of them around my house, <laughs> from the, <laughs> the medicines. medicines. Yeah. The medicine, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, that's what I filled on the, I put on the either ends of it. Go ahead, keep filling. You just tape it on with decorative duct tape? Oh, tape is the best. Why glue anything when you can tape it? And it's they have all these great so patterns. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Now, this is neat what you got, Renee, which is like a, it's a oh, sheet it's a full of, duct sheet tape. of duct tape. So, we just wrapped it right around here. Wow. That's right, cool. Right, Cal? Mm -hmm. So, then what we would do is put this one on, on this end and we would tape it up, right? Mm -hmm. And then you've got your rain stick. And mm -hmm. I see you've got and some cool stickers here, Oh, and too. Ah, thank you, Ashley. If Cal, if you wanted to, did you want to decorate with some stickers on that too? So you could do that as well if you wanted to. And then Keely, what else did you did you make? Not just the rain sticks, but you also made little. What, what are those? Like this is Keely's favorite craft. What is this? Shake things. <laughs> she oh. Shake things. <laughs> but yep. Keely loves using egg cartons to make things with egg cartons. So that's our egg carton. Shaker. Shaker. Maracas. Maracas. So you can have yes. Yes. a family good. band. A whole right? family band. We're, yeah, we Make could. Make the Brady Bunch jealous. Gra there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Keely, you fill yours with what? Rice. You fill one side of the egg carton with rice. Whoopsie doopsie. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to put the other, the other one on top and then just tape it. Again, we have all these great Colored decorative tapes. tapes. Go ahead, Keely. Which one do you want to use? And then, you and then we're going to shake them up at the end of the show. Like these. Along with yeah. our salad dressings that we're yes. going to make later, too. We're Thank you, up guys. That was fun. Vinaigrette when we return, so you don't want to miss that. With our shakers. It doesn't matter the season. You can always get crafty with your kids, no matter the weather or the season. So joining us now is the cool crafty mom, Renee Gorick. And she's here with her kids, Keely and Cal. Nice to have you guys here Thank joining you. us. So it's, it's wonderful to... Be, to do activities that involve your kids and to do them that really keep them active, keep their brains moving and aren't on a tablet or a phone. Yes, absolutely. That can get very addicting. I, I love <laughs> getting my kids crafting and actually using using their hands and getting dirty a little bit. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with getting dirty a little exactly. bit. Exactly. <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Especially when it's paint. <laughs> right, exactly. So today we're making cute collars and yes. salt and straw painting. Let's start yes. with the collars. So okay. Keely is actually modeling the collar. Keely, if you wouldn't she mind is. showing off that collar that you're wearing. Can you and show off your collar? Very easy <laughs> to make. It you know, is super easy. Wasn't it easy, Keely? Yes, we had so much fun making this. Do you, and, and I actually found this idea in Family Fun Magazine, so you don't have to be on the computer to find these great ideas. You can get them in books, you can get them in magazines. Um, they're all over the place. Obviously, the computer is a great place to find ideas for crafting. But but it's nice to sit down with your kids, read a magazine, yes. and say, let's try making that let's this week. Let's do this. Yeah. So how do you get started with the cute collars? We use chalk because uh, um, we felt like it would be the best thing for um, tracing. tracing. So in the Family Fun Magazine, there was a template. And you just cut, print the template out, trace it onto your felt, and then um, I did the cutting, right? Mommy did the cutting? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I did the cutting for this one. And then, Keely, why don't you show them what we did after that? 
after we traced it, what did we do? Can we, we found these really cool felt stickers and Keely just stuck them on and she decorated them. And this is another one that we, we did. Oh, can I try that one? Of course you can, Ashley. This is so cute. You. So <laughs> this is how, that's basically what you do. So that's once you it. decorate There's it. There's no sewing to this, just a little bit of glue if you want to. Use some fabric glue if you want to glue on some buttons or some pom-poms or what do you think? any, and the ribbon. You just glue the ribbons on the ends, right, Keely? Go ahead, put it on your collar. And then you, want. you what? Then you just use the fabric glue to, to glue the ribbon. Yeah, we just mm -hmm. took the took took some ribbons and you glue them onto the back of your collar, and then that's what you tie your collar on with. Um, and the, like I said, you can decorate it with anything. We use some jewels because Keely wants to be a sparkle princess over here. Um, buttons you can decorate with um, pom poms. If you had other ribbon you wanted to put around the outside, there's. Whatever, whatever you want to do, exactly. whatever you want to do, Explore you could do them the for craft seasons. Store. Yes, yeah. go crazy, make collars for everything. Yeah. I think mine's a little small, but I love it. <laughs> okay, salt and straw paintings. So, yes. Cal, why don't you show us how you make, how you do straw paintings? Mm, I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You've made these beautiful paintings, so you use straw, um, a straw. We used watercolors and a straw. Bless, Bless you. you. Why don't you put, pick your color, Cal? Not with the straw, honey. <laughs> <laughs> put your color on the paper. Paint. Do your paint. Just put your paint down on the paper. A big, and maybe a big blob of paint. Keely, you're going to use of water, straw, okay? right? Yep. Keely's going to show us what happens when you put salt on watercolors. You go ahead and paint your paper. Okay. So okay, Cal, now take your straw and show everybody what happens. Blow onto the, blow onto the colors. Let's show everyone. Keep going. Keep going. So blow on it. Whoa. Get right, get closer. There you go. Get close. There. That's so fun. And you can t take it in all different directions, do whatever you want with it. We decided to make a little painting with ours. Let me hold that one up, Renee. I love this one because it's a combination of salt and straw. So here we go. And Keely, you're working on a salt one. Now this right here is salt. So it looks sparkly one. and it has a really cool texture. And then up here is with the straw, and you actually made a fish. We kind of made it. it into a fish, and we thought, oh, it looks like a coral reef or something. So we, you can take them and decide to make them into something. You can just leave them as is, whatever you want to do with it. So you, fun. Are you ready to put your salt down and, and show get ready what to, happens? to you know clean up a little mess? Mm -hmm. But that's how it is. Go a outside if bit, it's nice but out. Yeah. But oh. Great ways to engage the kids. And coming up, we're going to show everyone that. how to make their very own musical instruments out of recycled materials. So we'll be back with our friends in just a bit to do that. Thanks, Renee, Keely, and Cal. Thank you. That was you. so fun. And I love my collar. It's very <laughs> nice. Still ahead on math.